young singer named Justin Moore. We don't do a whole lot of bullshitting up here. We just get up here and play country music. Hey guys, today's podcast is sponsored by Bobcat Company. Check them out at bobcat.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back into uh, the Justin Moore podcast. I'm Justin Moore. My man, JR the Handler, obviously is along with me again today. Uh, as always, we're excited to uh, hang out with you guys for a little while. We're actually at our respective homes, which is is a nice, um, <laughs> almost unbelievable. <laughs> a nice the thing to be able to say and kind of unbelievable uh, as jr said two weeks I mean, in a row yeah two weeks in a row last week though we we had i think one day at home yeah uh this yeah. week um this week we have all week at home we just have one day uh to work which is again unbelievable but yeah, we'll get into all that for sure. Uh, we'll get into all that today. Uh, just give you a, a, a bit of a rundown on what, what we're trying to accomplish today. Today, um, we're going to announce uh, my brand new single uh, and what it's called and uh, when it's coming out. And um, it's a love song. Uh, there's a little Uh-oh. tidbit for you. And we're going to have my wife, my wife Kate on uh today here in just a little bit after we catch up uh jr and i but anyway uh we'll have we'll have a good time so what's up jr yes i'm good buddy because forever just ain't long enough uh with a buddy you want to podcast with so um i'm glad uh we're on this morning a little early for you and i but hey that's fine it's raining here now i know you got a meeting in little rock this afternoon I'm, I got a boat reserved. I'm hoping to go out on the boat. Uh, shout out Freedom Boat Club. Hoping to go out on the boat today for a little bit if it clears up. Um, it was so dry at home, though. I'm not I'm not even minding because I, ha- I was going to have to water the grass today if it didn't rain, so it's raining. But we might as well talk about what we were talking about before we started. We pushed the record button, <laughs> which is weird, which That's is what- something that only two, you know, <laughs> middle-aged dudes talk about, I guess. Yeah, we, is, uh, so we our were bug ta- problems, we- our home bug problems. Yeah, we were talking about this for like ten minutes. I said, "Man, we might as well talk about this with the folks <laughs> yeah. out there because they'll they'll get a kick out of it." So I come in my office. We haven't been home. I mean, home for any amount of time in like nine three, weeks, three months, probably like at least. Yeah. yeah. And so I come in into my office yesterday for the first time. Uh, South and I came in here. Uh, which I sent you some pictures of him. He was oh, playing yeah. with the microphone. He goes, what's this? And then I said, well, I do my podcast with it. What's that? And so I pulled it up on YouTube, and he sees JR. He goes, there's JR. Hey, JR. He starts to talk uh, to talk to JR. I'm like, no, it's not. He's not really there right now. It's like all these videos you watch all the time. Anyway. I hey, digress, maybe we should bring but, him today and let him see me. We could talk real time. I would, but he's at school. Oh, so, that's right. True. Um, All right. Yeah. We'll get him on. So, yeah, he's already training we'll, to take we'll our to job one on. day. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but he liked playing with the mics and all that. But um, anyway, I'm yesterday I noticed it, and then this morning again, I'm like, there are. I don't know if it's if it's. Uh, I don't know if it's gnats or or your know, fruit flies or what. I, but they are everywhere. I'm. I just keep like, you know. N- Oh yeah, they're pestering. They'll pester you too. There's no food in here. There's no drinks. No, I mean I've got a a glass of water here. I mean there was one solo cup in here that had like a, I mean just a tiny, like not even a a sip of maybe Gatorade or Powerade or something in it. And I bet there were twelve hundred in that cup yesterday. I'm like. What in the world, man? But anyway, you've got a, oh, yeah. a similar issue back home, and I'm like, I hate cold weather, but I'm I'm just I'm I'm going. 
can it please get a little colder so the, these jokers can the go fruit away? Fruit flies fly south for the winter? Yeah, something. I mean, good night. Oh, man. yeah, it'll get out of hand quick. If you leave a sip of juice or something, I've seen it over the bar over the years. Even at your downstairs bar a few times, if y'all had, like, the kids had a, a pool party or something, and I came later that week, went in there, nobody had been in there all week. If a cup had a swallow of orange juice or something in it, oh, yeah, they get out of hand yeah, quick. Just but they'll go away. It. Yeah, I don't know how they get in there, and I don't know how they leave, but tomorrow you'll go in there, and there won't be any. It's weird. Well, we've got we've got uh, outside coming inside, I know how. Somehow we've got fleas in our yard, or the cats next door bring them over, something. Somehow Lola's had a few, not like a whole bunch, but a few every couple of days when Reese checks her belly and stuff. So we have washed. Sheree says she's washed every day. She takes everything and washes. She checks her. We're giving her baths and dawn. All that sprayed the yard once before I left last time, but it rained so much, I doubt it did anything. So, yeah, just random. We've never had them. I haven't had fleas on dogs since maybe college. We had a few times with dogs yeah. playing with other dogs and stuff. But I, I was, and, I, and we I, have a fenced in yard, and she hadn't been to the dog park. I, have I no was going to say, man, I, I've never dealt with that with a dog, and I've probably owned, as an adult, I guess four dogs. Uh, and as a kid, you know, I had a we had always, a couple, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I've never had to deal with fleas. Uh, I remember, so I don't even know. I don't know a where they come from or b how you get rid of them. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Do you just call your vet and they give them something or? Well, I, I don't you can know. do you can do pills and um, you know collars and shampoos and all that stuff or like. We just use dogs. Yeah, we do this. have we we do have the collars actually on all of our dogs and our cats. Yeah, uh, you know, cats I are, guess they, cats they are come bad from about it. they come from the uh, the vet, I, I think. Yeah, at least. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, they so they just we, jump around like that. I think they're kind of like ticks. They just kind of hang out in the ground, and they jump on something that's warm that gets near them, and they get around. I don't know. I don't really know. I hadn't dealt with them much. Yeah. I know it's like I said college once or twice. I remember having to bathe McAdoo um, in and flea stuff and put flea collar on him and put the little stuff on his neck and things like yeah, that. Yeah, the but, little drip thing or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. Lola just gets like a shot once or twice a year for her, uh, for heartworms and all that stuff. She gets the, she gets the whatever. So, but I, I don't know. But yeah, long times I have. And there, it wasn't, it's like I said, it's not like she just eat up with them and I got to go get this super bath stuff to get her off. It's just one or two, but she's not even scratching like holes in her or nothing because you know it's right. uh it can get like yeah that's what usually they do they shave i remember like i was watching some documentary last night it was oh sad but like uh back at the turn of the century yeah a lot of poor kids in new york city they had bald heads it's because they fleas and stuff so they shaved them so they wouldn't stay because wow. they won't that's why they don't like us is because we don't have you know i guess they'll get in our hair but they like to be buried down where they can hide and stuff but anyway yeah dealing with that just infestations galore at our houses. That's what happens when you're gone for three months on the road nonstop exactly. and, uh, and don't get to get caught up. I've got a little bit caught up since I've been home, um, at least with um, the, the stack of you know stuff I've got to get done. I've chopped it down a little bit and uh, got some stuff lined up to do. Got a bunch of phone calls to make and emails to send, but we'll get there. It's been a good year so far. Summer's over now. We played we played all our summer shows. It's uh it's time to ease off in the fall. Like you said, we're unfortunately our schedule got um, kind of hijacked here towards the end. You know, this coming up weekend, we lost a show or two to various reasons. Yeah, and uh, we still, yeah. yeah. So when this drops on Thursday, we're recording today is Tuesday, the 28th, which happy birthday to uh, our, our dear brother uh, from Manteca, California, Mr. Joseph Anthony Gonzalez, Joey G. Happy birthday, 53 and holding. One of the more jacked 53-year-olds that's not a professional athlete or former professional I mean, athlete I know. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, yeah happy Can't birthday, hold his liquor man. worth of shit, but after, besides that, he's good. <laughs> ah, happy happy get birthday, you, JG. Um, but, yeah, um, yeah, like you said, had a couple of shows canceled. Uh, one was due to COVID. The other, uh, I forget. Uh, there was some kind of strange reason. Um, but I forget, yeah. I forget why, but, uh, happy to be, be going back to, uh, a place that's been really good to us. And I was thinking about it, JR, um, we're talking about Pikeville, Kentucky. Uh, so not only is our band leader, lead guitar player slash one of our best friends, uh, from there, but that's where you and I met for the first time. Is it? 
It was 2013 or 14 on the Off the Beaten Path tour. That was the first night of that tour. And then you I'm came pre- on the and you, and you I'm came pretty on the bus. sure. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was the first that, night of that tour. That sounds about right. I know when we get to the venue for sure. That sounds about right. So, and wow. I was out shooting my bow, and I and John came over and and uh, asked me about it, and I was trying to teach John Party how to shoot a bow, and that's um, right. So anyway, I I, I want to say that was that particular venue, but wow. uh, but anyway, yeah, How about that? I, that be eight eight years ago. Yeah, I think it was thirteen or fourteen. I forget it was 13. which. It was thirteen. Thirteen. Okay, all, cool. Yeah. Okay, thirteen. Wow. So yeah, that would have been eight years ago. Um, time flies and, when uh, you're having a good time, ain't it, right, I'm buddy? I'm telling you. So so yeah, <laughs> it, it's. But that area has been really good to us. Always been really supportive of us, and so look forward to going there. But and then. I'm not too bummed out that the show got canceled as much as I hate it Saturday because um, I'm because actually. If there's anything get, you love more than country music, it's Arkansas Razorback football. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to actually get a chance to go uh, to a Razorback football game. We're playing at Georgia in Athens. Georgia's ranked second, and my Hogs are ranked number eight, eight in the country. I mean, it's just Can you like, even believe it? it's unbelievable. No, I can't. It's unbelievable. And, you know, if you'd have told me this 10 years ago, I would have been like, oh, okay, no big deal. Yeah. Nine years ago, though, I'd have been like, you're out of your mind. Yeah. Two you're years like, ago, <laughs> you're out of your mind. I yeah, mean, two years ago, you'd have re- said, if, if we could be 58, I'd be okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but but my Razorbacks uh, whipped up on uh, Texas A&M uh, this past weekend. And another, uh, well, this was a top 10 win. Um, A&M was ranked seventh. We were ranked 16th. Just unbelievable. I mean, it really is. What Sam Pittman, uh, Coach our head Pittman coach, has got them boys playing hard, buddy. What what he what he has done in, uh, I was telling Jr. Fourteen games, fourteen games. We're I think we're seven and seven in those fourteen games. We played an all SEC schedule last year. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I mean, amazing. It's. I'm so happy for him as a, as a good friend of uh, of his and his wife Jamie. Really, really happy for him. I texted a, a friend of mine uh, last night. I said, "Man, I don't know if I'm happier for for myself or for for him, just as a person, uh, for for all that he's accomplished." But uh, but anyway, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, myself and uh, Kate, my wife, who we'll talk to here in a few. Um, and a couple friend of ours will actually get to go to the game. So yeah, you know what that. Coach Pittman would say? He's just happy for you fans and those players and those assistant coaches because they did all the work. Yeah, I texted him. It was a couple of weeks ago after we beat Texas, and um, I said, "Man, I'm so happy for you and Jamie." He said, "I'm just happy for the state of Arkansas." That, that's the kind good, of person buddy. he is. You yeah, know? no and doubt. So, and I said, well, the state of Arkansas is happy for you. So, anyway, yeah. pretty well, awesome. Well, hey. So, so yeah. yeah, we're eighth. You guys are first. Um, y'all got a big test this weekend, too. We go to number two. Y'all are at home against number 12, Ole Miss. and um, Lane Kiffin. And the trolling. Lane, the Lane train. He's yeah. uh, Man, he's a good coach, but he is a bit of a, a D-bag. I got to be honest. Uh yeah, sorry. Well, Kate's no, you're trying good. to break in. No, uh, you're good. But no, yeah, I agree. It, yeah, he, it, some of his trolling and his tweets are just. I'm just like, man, would you grow up, please? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm I'm so glad he's not our coach. Well, I mean, hopefully, Daddy will put us. He's a great offensive mind. He's right, a great no offensive mind, but my goodness, is he immature? I yeah. mean, he is just. You're like, man. I just want to knock the piss out of you. Yeah, but you were yeah. so immature. <laughs> like, but anyway, well, yeah. they're good though, man. Yeah. They can, oh yeah, they'll be good. They can put they can put points on the board. There ain't yeah. no doubt about that. Yeah, Saban's so. definitely uh, <sighs> has his work cut out trying to get a game plan. And the coaches getting a game plan against that offense is potent, no doubt. But yeah, that'll be a good game this past weekend. Yeah, we got Southern Miss had a got out on got out on them early, which was comforting to not have to sweat it uh, like the Florida game. Um, 
Uh, but, yeah, talking about this weekend, you guys are going to get to go to the game. We've got to go back to last weekend's game, though, because uh, last week we had a good time. Went up to We did some shows on the road with our uh, brother Tracy Lawrence uh, and our new little buddy, my little brother Noah Hicks. Had a great time on the road with them. It was fun. It's kind of like spanning the ages there. Noah's 22. And Tracy's like 52, <laughs> was, was, you know what I mean? It I'm was like, I'm talk- funny, man. It was funny. Every I, time I, I'm talking to Noah about something, I'll, I'll make some little one-liner. He'd say, my dad says the same thing. I'm like, yeah, because I'm old enough to be your dad. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> and No, no the, the even better is how old is your dad? And y'all yeah. are the same exact. Yeah, he's 42. He's my age. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm your dad, son. No, uh, Noah loved him. And Tracy, yeah, but I would say that to say, yeah, we played Bismarck. It was great. All the shows are great. Minneapolis. Um, Minnesota on Friday, then Saturday we were back in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which was cool. Um, shout out to Outback Promotions for uh, putting all that together for us this weekend. Uh, but we got to watch the game because your game was at two thirty. And one thing I realized during that game was, is if I thought you were the biggest Arkansas Razorback fan I ever knew, and there was nobody even close. I think I might have met the one guy who's just as ridiculous as you, and his name is Tommy Thank McDonald. You. He's Tracy Lawrence's tour manager, a.k.a. Opie. Because Opie is eat up with it just like you are. I'm watching yeah, you rivals. on the inside of the butts, fidget around, chew your fingernails, bounce up and down, just just nervous tick. I look out the bus, there's Tommy doing the exact mm-hmm. same thing, but outside the bus. He's kicking grass. He's moving around, He's moving chairs. He's stacking them, folding them, putting them back, walking right up to the TV, talking to it. And I thought, yep, two peas in a pod right here. Yeah, he rivals me for sure. Yeah. I mean, and me and Tracy were trying to go get a massage. <laughs> no doubt about that. It's but just, but uh, it was awesome for y'all because y'all were both, you know, y'all both said the same things. I talked to one of y'all and the other one say, oh, something's going to happen. No, they won't give us that call. No, this is where something just goes terrible. I'm just, I'm just, just that's what's been happening. And then it didn't. It went the right way. It should. It you finally well. got some of the calls. You finally didn't get the hose call when you. <laughs> Things like that, you know. We've known with yeah. the last couple of years. I mean, y'all had one call at the end of a game, changed the whole game for y'all. You could have went either way. Yeah, things like that. Well, so it was good what to see we it call right it way. is we call it uh, H O G P T S D. Um, to be honest with you, back home is because the, it's just been that way. I mean, it, it, it's been um, you know, it's been poor coaching hires. It's been. You know, bad luck with calls on the field. I mean, um, it, and not that they were necessarily bad calls, but we haven't gotten the breaks that seemingly other teams seem to get. Right. Whatever. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it's it's a good time to be a Razorback fan right now. And I, I, I read something a, a day or two ago, which was pretty, pretty neat. Um, in the last seven months – Arkansas football, basketball, and baseball have all been ranked inside the top ten. Wow. Which is pretty amazing. And we have, I believe we have 19 sports, uh, scholarship sports, and 18 of them have been ranked this year, which is just wow. incredible. Wow. So, so it's not just football. Of 19. It's a, and yeah, basketball it's and baseball. Am- it's across the board. That's awesome. Pretty amazing. Pretty cool. So, but anyway, uh, I know you know for our listeners out there who don't care as much about Razorback, yeah, stuff as I do. Uh, I will say I I do think uh, college football. I think there's a lot more parity this year than there's been in the past. So, should be fun for all of us. Yep. Um, you know, you're 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 definitely not going to see Clemson in the playoff now. Clemson ain't good. Which they just wild. ain't good. Just uh, fell they off the face good. of the earth. Wow. Well, uh, you know, it, to me, it just makes what Nick Saban has done at Alabama even more remarkable. Yep. It's hard. It, it's hard to get there, but it's even harder to stay there. And Clemson's had a good, I think, nine-year run, an incredible nine-year run. And I'm not saying they won't come back next year, but they they ain't good this year. Yep. Period. Could they be just uh, ain't good. Could be uh, Dabo pulling a, um, you know, just let him down easy. You know, lose a couple of years in a row. It won't so bad when he comes back home. Yeah, and Oklahoma and Oklahoma's struggling, man. They're four and zero, but they have not looked good. They damn near got beat at home against Tulane week one, and they beat West Virginia sixteen to thirteen with their, you know, super potent offense. Right. 
Yeah. So I mean, there. Point being, there's a lot of parity uh, in the in the game right now, and and so it'll be it'll be a lot of fun to watch throughout the rest of the uh, college football season. So yeah, and pro uh, season but, too. I want to get into that too because. Um, you know, you've got to watch a lot more college than I have because because you pay more attention to it than I do. I've slacked this year on all fronts because we just our road schedule and not being home and this and that. Um, but um, I know talking about college, you said uh, I asked you. I said any teams outside the SEC that look really good. You said Oregon looked good. So yeah, uh, be interested to see how far they go. And then in the pros, um, you know, it's been kind of back and forth. The Brady thing. Sharice called me in the uh, living room last night. She said, "Here's that commercial. You got to listen to it." And it's an Adele song, I think, but it's basically just a hype video for the game. I guess Sunday night football this coming weekend is going to be uh, Tampa Bay and New England. Oh, so it's ooh. Brady and them, and they're doing these clips back and forth. I mean, it was pretty, and the songs are built, you know, Big Adele, big, big wall of sound song, you know. So it was it was a pretty sweet hype mm -hmm. video for the Sunday night football. I think it's coming on. They're actually playing the game an hour or two earlier than they normally do. So, I mean, it's prime time, prime time. Um, and and I hope my boy sure. Mac Jones can, can – uh, can show up because they've they've been they struggled last couple of weekends. And, and I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, Tampa Bay got whipped up on this this weekend. Did they? Yeah, I didn't see it. Which is well, be their first loss. So, yeah, I wouldn't want Brady after a after a beatdown. That's for no. sure. And and um, uh, my Saints are the ones that put it on New England. Um, yeah, good yeah. win. We, so we they're both coming off of. They're both coming. I'll have to look to make sure I, I'm I'm accurate. On on that, but I'm I'm pretty sure uh, you guys looked good. Yeah. Uh, again, after looking great the first week, terrible the second week. Right. And then um, back to good and, and, again. And last uh, and last night Monday night football was was good. I wish uh, Jalen and um, Devontae. Yeah, the Smith Rams beat the Bucks uh, by ten, yeah. but it wasn't that close. And my Steelers are terrible. They're terrible. Yeah. Terrible. They're just Najee, terrible. Najee got Najee got me good points on fantasy this week, and it wasn't from the ground though. He had over 100 yards receiving this week. I mean, they're they're just throwing it out of the backfield, yeah. I guess. Our our Steelers, uh, our our offensive line uh, is young, inexperienced. Uh, our quarterback is in his 19th year. That's not a good combination. Yeah, it's yeah. just not. No. Um, and they're just not. They're not good. <laughs> I was yeah. talking to a buddy of, of mine and yours that's from there and we're we're even going like what was that we had a fourth and ten jr fourth and ten in the red zone with like four or five minutes left something like that we're down two touchdowns and we throw a one yard pass to uh a running back yeah. like what sense does that make makes right. no sense at all no and so anyway, yeah. it's it may be a rough year for them. So thank God my hogs are good. But um, yeah. hey, man, gotta, let's, let's take a yeah. Let me ahead. do this. Let me do this real quick because I thought this was good on the Monday night game last night. Um, it was uh, Eagles Cowboys, which is a classic rival, you know. And uh, we had oh, some yeah. Alabama guys on the field, as you can imagine. And my buddy, my good buddy Chad Jones, who listens to the podcast, shout out Boner Trayvon Diggs. Beast. Yeah, he said he said tonight. Landon Dickerson snapped the ball to Jalen Hurts, who attempted to pass to Devonta Smith, but was picked off and taken to the house by Travion Diggs. NFL is built by Bama. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? The snap That's to the unreal. quarterback, to the receiver, to the pick, all the same guys. Yeah, Diggs was on fire, man. You know, Diggs, uh, Diggs was actually a, a receiver in co uh, high school, and when he got to Bama, they, they said, man, he's so good. His hands are so good. Uh, but moved him to corner. So I guess my point is, uh, he's a receiver playing corner. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like so. So some of those picks, um, he probably makes that others wouldn't. You know? Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick break right here. For, uh, pause for the call. Station identification to break. Remember, everybody, use the hashtag Justin Moore Podcast when you interact with us on social media. I'm Jr. The Handler. That's Justin Cole Moore. You can go to justinmoremusic.com and you can find our our uh, podcast page and merch page and all that. You can get you one of these fine Justin Moore Podcast coffee mugs here. 
Got these back in stock. and get you a couple of those. You can go to jrthehandler.com if you want to get crazy with it and get you a handler shirt like all the kids are doing these days. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take a real quick break for our sponsors, and we're going to come back with the illustrious Kate Moore to chop it up and uh, give the dirt on JM and uh, maybe talk about number one songs and uh, how she may be a better music song picker than even the kid here. We'll see. We'll be right back here. Season 3, Episode 31, Justin Moore Podcast. Stay tuned. I want to give a quick shout out to Bobcat Company, who really does make a job, any job that is, easier. They got everything from skid steers to compact tractors, utility vehicles, zero turn mowers, and everything in between. Their products are designed to make your lives easier. I like that. Which means spending more time with your family and doing the other fun things you love. Y'all know how big of a deal that is to me. Make sure you visit bobcat.com to see what products might be a good fit for your property. Hey, what's up, guys? Justin Moore here. I want to remind everyone out there listening uh, that my wife, Kate, has an awesome children's clothing boutique in downtown Benton, Arkansas. It's central Arkansas. So if you're local, come see us at 119 West South Street in downtown historic Benton, Arkansas. Uh, again, that's 119 West South Street in Benton, Arkansas. And if you're not local, we ship everywhere. So uh, you can find us at shopthislittlepiggy.com and see all that we have to offer, all that my wife Kate has to offer, I should say. Facebook, you can find us at Shop This Little Piggy AR. And Instagram, you can find us at Shop This Little Piggy AR. But check us out. It's called This Little Piggy. And uh, see what we got to offer. Shopthislittlepiggy.com. Hi, y'all. This is Brandon Bing, singer, songwriter, and whiskey maker. You're tuning into the Justin Moore Podcast. Visit EasyLiquor.com to grab your bottle of Bangtail Whiskey and join the Blue Collar Swaller family today. Follow us on all socials at Bangtail Whiskey for more news and updates. Now pour a jigger and take this a second ride with us. Hey, gang. As y'all have heard, the Justin Moore Podcast has recently teamed up with Wrangler. Wrangler has been an icon in authentic American style around the world for more than 70 years. With a rich legacy rooted in the American West, Wrangler commits to offering unmatched quality and timeless design. As y'all have heard me and Justin talk about on here, George Strait and Alan Jackson, they're Wranglers. We wear Wranglers too. Its collections are also for men and women, children, to look and feel great. Inspiring those who wear them to be strong and ready for life every day. Wrangler is available in retail stores worldwide, including brand flagship stores in Denver and Dallas, department stores, mass market retailers, specialty shops, Western Outfitters, and online. For more information, visit Wrangler.com. And you know you've heard it here, and you've seen it on stage, the Justin Moore Podcast. Dang glad to be partnered up with Wrangler, because we're big fans and have been for a long, long time. Can't go wrong with a nice pair of Wranglers, y'all. I wear the Wrangler Retro. Uh, Justin wears the black one some. It's just it's my go-to. Uh, I get mine at Academy. So if you're uh, around an Academy or just about anywhere, you can get you a pair of Wranglers, whether you want to look like George Strait or you want to look like JM or you want to look like me. You can get you some Wranglers, and you can do that. Whether you're in North California or South Alabama or Montana, Texas, Ohio, Wyoming, wherever, a pair of Wranglers will get the job done. Long live Cowboys and Plowboys. For more information, visit Wrangler.com. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Justin Moore Podcast. I want to say again, I uh, mentioned before the break last weekend, we got to go out on the road with uh, our brother, Mr. Tracy Lawrence, and his team. Uh, Tracy's got two new albums out this year, got another one coming later this year or the first of next year. So everybody go check that out. Um, you know it's good. He's played us some of the songs off of it. I told him, in all honesty, I hadn't got a chance to download and listen to it yet, but I am going to. Um, it's, it's straight up Tracy. And then uh, my little brother Noah Hicks, who was out on the road with us, y'all go follow him on socials. He's a hoot. Uh, he had a bunch of crazy pictures up, him and Jay, this weekend, and Tracy and stuff. So y'all check them out. Uh, but while we're talking about legends and uh, and up-and-coming uh, superstars here, uh, we've got, we've got uh, a legend, uh, the illustrious Kate Moore, joining the podcast here. Podcast legend, uh, media mogul. Uh, fashion uh, icon and um, and and probably the coolest wife uh, in country music. Um, so here yeah, and my that, sister. That last from, is correct. Absolutely from <laughs> South Louisiana, Poe in Arkansas. Miss Kate Moore, what's going on, Kate? Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thanks for coming back on the podcast. Yeah, I didn't actually know about this until. Um, did Justin tell you? He re didn't tell me. You know. 
I mean, what needs usual, to be usual? Just in fashion, you know. We get into bed last night, <laughs> and I said, "Hey, uh, I know you're doing your podcast tomorrow, and you have like a meeting or whatever." I was like, "Do you have anything else to do?" Because I had stuff planned. He right. goes, "Yeah, I'm doing my podcast, you know, with you." I go, "Didn't know that." I, I told you why you were cooking. <laughs> no, you don't. He never tells me anything. Uh -huh. I get it. Oh, well, I, don't I think know. You yeah. need too much of a heads up to just come. Which that's talk way in JR advance. Normally, it's like, hey, I'm going to do my podcast. Uh, I need you to come jump on in about 15. Well, we, that's normally what I get. I well, was we going to say that you got a pretty good heads up. Really, it's usually like, oh, yeah. right then. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to uh, have you on because we're announcing that. Uh, I guess I'll do it now, but uh, here on the the Justin Moore podcast that. Uh, our next single, which is coming out, is called With a Woman You Love. It's a love song. Uh, I had this idea, I don't know, two or three years ago, and, and we ended up writing it. And um, Actually, about the same time that we wrote all the stuff for, uh, for the last two albums, uh, Late Nights and Long Necks and Straight Out of the Country, and recorded it two or three different times, and feel as though we now have it recorded correctly um but uh really excited it, it's from an upcoming album that will be out i would guess first quarter of next year uh don't know that for certain but i, I i'm guessing that's about the time frame we're looking at and uh, really excited about it kate and that. i actually yeah kate and i actually for those listening Go it right will have course. been a couple of days ago yeah, there you go. Aww. Yeah, that's the uh, have single media, cover. So I'm I guess. showing him his his post. Yeah, uh, yeah you can pre order it right yeah. now. So everybody needs to go on right yeah. now, and you can pre order it. I did it last night. Yeah, yeah. Call with a with a woman you love. Uh, I'm excited about it. It's kind of to me a little till my last day ish esque. Um, up tempo love song but um but kate and i for for those listening and watching uh tomorrow for us a couple of days ago for you guys um when this actually uh, airs um is our 14th wedding anniversary yeah so uh That's september awesome. 29th 14 wonderful wonderful years so yeah we've been together stress, for stress free no Easy. headaches Easy, yeah. you know, just, <laughs> just best been, time of our lives, you know. Been together nineteen between nineteen and twenty years. Been married for fourteen, uh -oh. so yeah. Would you get me tickets to the Georgia Arkansas game this weekend? Wee That's what I got you. <laughs> oh, so. great minds so think alike. So sweet to him. So sweet. I'm to him. telling you, I, I actually funny. I was flipping through the channels last night, and um, I always stop by the Circle Channel, which is a offshoot of the Opry stuff, you know. And because um, they always have cool stuff on there, if they're not showing music stuff, they'll show just like Andy Griffith and stuff. But um, there was a show, uh, Better Halves, and um, they had you guys on there. And speaking of that, uh, that made me think because they have a picture of you guys at your wedding. And oh, that's do. funny because that's tomorrow. Yeah, the, on the on the uh, commercial for the show itself, it's, oh. it shows a couple of different artists and just like a couple of clips from their episode. Yeah, and that was the clip they showed of you guys at your wedding, which would huh. have been 14 years ago tomorrow. So I, it's ironic though that I yeah. I randomly saw that picture and then now we're talking yeah. about it today. I still wow. never saw that uh, the actual episode when they filmed that on TV because I think whenever it came out, we didn't have that we channel have at channel. that time or something. Yeah. We may have it now. Yeah, yeah so it, it, it's everywhere well, now. I think it's on everything now. Circle is. Yeah, it, yeah. Y'all yeah, so, look good. Sounded good. Your house looked good. It was around Christmas time, I think, because I think your tree was in the background. Yeah. 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 What What Kate's talking about is um, they came. Was it like two years ago or something? It'll be two years this Christmas. Yeah. Um, Christmas they came before and, the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, they came and filmed um, an episode with. It was more so with Kate than even me, it was all me. honestly. Um, it was about our half, our I mean. store. <laughs> yeah. um, we did a y'all you, you, did a lot from the store. Yeah, we did we stuff did, from the store. Did some stuff at the house and uh, kind of like what I do you, all day. Or you can probably find that online. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Um, we did some stuff with the how kids. how or where, but I'm sure you can. Yeah, the kids are all in it. Um, so yeah, we should maybe I, make I forgot, Justin watch it, Kate, because he's always like. 
He's like, I don't know what Kate's doing. She's just always gone doing something. I don't know what she's doing. So maybe he should okay. watch that video yeah. and he'll actually know what when you're you doing. This joker don't like. She don't even like her house. She just no, she leaves it I all do. the time. But I tell Jr. Real, no. all, so we have cameras. Hold on before you go there. So for the <laughs> for, for you guys listening and watching, like we have cameras in different spots around our house, outside, inside, whatever. So if I want to know, like if she made it home at night or or whatever I, i'll just real quick look at the camera and i'm like eh, gone 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 always gone i'm like i don't even think she likes our house okay so i'll tell the story the what actual you have at it? facts what? uh he doesn't get it he just thinks like things just happen and appear in our house like toilet paper and paper towels and uh things damn just clean towels to don't happen i can tell you that much i don't have they don't time. just appear Listen, i can promise you i get up like at 5 30 when you're not home like 5 30 i will in before i wake up the kids drink my cup of coffee get just have a moment by myself then get all the kids up they're dressed hair get them ready for school I get dressed as well because when I drop them off, I'll go run my errands or I'll go to the store and do things at the store. Then I'll go pick up the kids from school and come home. So mm, I, that last part <laughs> might be a tad bit false. You go get the kids from school and then go home. JR? Okay, sometimes I take the kids to go get something to eat. On Fridays, we have a thing I've been doing since school started. Yeah, you go eat at the most garbage pizza place ever. No, it's, it's ever. awesome. No, it's, it's not. Awesome. It's terrible. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> you awful. like it. But awful, you just... awful, awful, awful okay. pizza. No, I don't. Anyway. I don't like it. I, what does I gotta it matter say, if I'm we had Ella our four the... children out with me and we're spending some time after school? We'll go eat. Because you know what the other thing is on Friday? I'm worried about you. It's dangerous no, out he's there. Not. Just go home. Go he to Poland. He just wants me to just be home. <laughs> yeah. I don't. It's dangerous. I, I like secure. a day or two yes. at home. But then I It ain't have like to you got a stuff. backpack, a survival kit like JR and I. <laughs> you just got to get, get you go a backpack. home. Stay home. He drives me crazy. He drives me crazy. She's like, I'd say that something like Shree said, but I got my gun. You know, hey, Katie is a good shot, so I wouldn't mess with Mama Kate. But I'm kind of, <laughs> I get it, but I'm kind of like Justin too, especially right now. I'm like, everybody just stay safe. I wish both of y'all would just never go do anything except for go to work and, and go I, home. But the because thing is, I don't always know anywhere, gonna happen. but if once I drop the kids off, majority of the time, if I, I'm not at the grocery store, um, or Academy Sports, because I do like Academy. Obsessed. During, during softball yeah. season. How could you not like Academy? Um, it's got if I'm not at those two places, I'm at the store. And that's right. it. It's not like I'm having or lunch Larry's. out with, pizza, with people. Larry's. Or, a lot. With our children. Yeah, it's not safe. Sometimes I'll take there. them to go eat Mex Mexican. Why all, of you so why all of a sudden are you like... It's just like... Ser seriously, ever we since just the watched. pandemic, when y'all went back to work, this stretch, yeah. he has been like, where are you? Where'd y'all go? What'd y'all do? And I'm like... It's a wild world out there, Kate. You have never asked these questions. Like, okay. why does it bother you so much? It, I don't know that it bothers me. It's just, I guess... Are you jealous? Of Larry's Pizza? No. Ross, Ross that, said it wasn't good either. And Ross might have just been lying in front of Justin. Ross, Terrible. That's Ross. Yeah. You don't know what you're talking no, about. Look, the, Fridays they had the buffet. So they come around with all these different pizzas, and you raise your hand. Every or, one of them ain't worth, none of them worth a flip. They're awesome. <laughs> no. Just stop. They ain't. But or anyway. We'll Mexican. Those are our two choices. So buffets are good. No, so you can pick different ones, get a bite of this. Yeah, bite and the that. kids, there's a little salad bar, there's a little game room. They'll play in there, get their tickets. Everybody has whatever kind of pizza they want. There's dessert pizzas. It's good. Don't listen I get to it. But the the thing about it is, JR and I, for I don't know, the better part of three months. We've traveled around, we've flown and gone through airports and seen, and things are not, you know, I, I'm hopeful that they're getting that way, but things are not normal right now. I mean, we were in a, a, a pretty, I won't even say the city name, but a, a pretty major city this past weekend 
uh, or was it two weekends ago? Either way, it was weird. I mean, it was just flat, eerie, and not safe. And I've never felt unsafe in this place until that particular evening. I mean, like, and so I don't know. When I'm not here, I'm worried about y'all. I'm just well, like, just go, is, go home. We got it. I might. You, you I got might seven be contributed. Done. I got a gun. I know how to shoot. You got. It. We got a bunch of guns uh, here. We got. You know. Is, I like, might be contributing to that. Places. I live in a little bubble, and I and I'm but, always with somebody. I mean, it's not. But like if I'm you don't all, stay in the bubble, you're outside the bubble. <laughs> that, I mean, like that, the, that's well, the thing. My bubble like, consists of those three other places. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> no, I get. I, mean, I, I gotta I get prob- groceries. I probably yes. contribute during the daytime. I, go get groceries. I, it's always during the daytime. Very no, rarely. No, your am ass I, won't come home till nine o'clock at night. That is such a lie. That's not true. Last Maybe, Friday night, y'all went to Larry's, and you. I trust I me. I was I'm, with your parents. I'm looking. I was with your parents. Yeah, the like funniest, they can do the, anything. The funniest well, was, was the funniest was the other week we left on the bus. And Justin forgot something at home, so he calls oh, home. Oh, too soon. Too soon. <laughs> he's too like, soon, oh. he, he goes, he's on the bus, he's throwing his hands. He's like, oh, of course. We've been gone, what, 20 minutes? She's gone. They're gone. Everybody's gone. House is empty. Everybody's gone. As soon as I leave, guess where they eat, Guess where they were? Larry's. <laughs> Larry, Larry's is never going to be a sponsor of this podcast. Listen, <laughs> no, I, when no, he's not, not gone, I'll cook and I'll make sure I have things during the week. But by the time Friday rolls around, the kids are tired. I'm tired. I don't want to dirty the kitchen. I don't want to wash dishes and I don't want to cook. So that's yeah. why I started doing, hey, y'all want to go get something to eat? And the, ki- it, the kids like to get out and go get something to eat because we really don't eat out much. especially like No, when we really home. don't ever. We eat honestly. at home all the time or we cook. You know, so the kid, the kids, like, the kids, except for Ken, because we talked to them about it. We talked to Ella about it. She's like me. Ella almost it was like you and her had a plan Uh-oh. together because she stuck to her story, sounded just like you when we asked her about going. No, we really don't <laughs> go much. No, I mean, no, it's fine. it's really good. We, I mean, she basically just imitated you everything she said, and then Ken comes up like. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want to go. I'd just rather stay at home all the time. No, Ken's <laughs> like, I'll be fine. It's or Ken will be like, she'll say, are you going to get your nails done? And if I say no, she's like, okay, I'll stay home. It's pretty funny because <laughs> Ella is exactly like Kate and looks exactly like Kate. Sounds exactly like Kate. Oh, yeah. Um, You know, verbatim. And Kennedy <laughs> is... All that, but me. Like, I mean, I like today. I've got to go to Little Rock, and I'm dreading it. Like, I don't want to go to. It's 45 minutes. I'm dreading it. Kennedy would be like me. Like, I don't want to go do this. Oh, yeah. yeah. It, I just want to stay. Stick around the house. Ella would be would so excited. Packed. She'd be bouncing, bouncing off the walls right <laughs> now. She'd be dressed like Kate. Kate got up and like six this morning she's been getting dressed for like four hours just not super four excited hours. I, it's the, no not four hours but i'm like at least can i be look presentable this time normally when i'm on here i'm in my pajamas or i'm a blanket on me my hair's up in a ponytail no makeup on but that's normally how i am all the time but so i actually fix my hair yep you know, i said oh you look I'm pretty to look glad decent. to have you on but it it's, was it's funny. funny. It's funny how different they are, though, personality yeah. wise, yeah. and like, like you know, because Ella totally, um, totally stuck up for you, like a hundred percent. Like I said, like y'all had it planned out. Only thing she, only Gosh, info she shocking. did give us, give up is said you and uh, Aunt Robbie, uh, y'all's language gets a little salty when uh, it's you two on the phone. That's her <laughs> only thing she gave. That's the only info she gave. She said, yeah. "Oh, when she's talking to Aunt Robbie, she's, when I call she my might sister say some bad from words." The car, I'll have to say, "I'm like, hey, you're on speakerphone." She goes, "Oh, hey, hey, girls." Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> y'all, it's Louisiana girls. It's, <laughs> otherwise, it's beep beep. It's funny too because we we t- actually talked about it on the bus when Ella was out with us. I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And I, somebody asked her, it wasn't JR, it was somebody else, said, well, who cusses more, uh, your mom or your dad? And she's like, dad don't ever hardly ever cuss. Like, I never really hear him cuss. But mom. I do. It's just a different culture where y'all grew up. This I is mean, a thing I remember, because, I, hold on. Oh. I remember, the and JR, you may or may not have had the same experience. I don't know. 
because as we've talked about a million times, Kate and Cherise are from the same town, but um, the first time I went to visit Kate when we were dating, like 19, 20 years ago, I mean, there's F-bombs flying all over, all the place. and I'm like, oh my gosh. But, but we, you know, we grew up in the Bible Belt, where that, like, I heard my dad say the F word like twice in my life. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yep. and that was on accident. I mean, it right. wasn't, he thought I wasn't around or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Well, I don't it was just a whole different it, thing. Especially I mean, the F word. I mean, I don't say that in front of the kids. Eh. I don't. Now, well, your parents said it in front of me. Yeah, That's but I was saying. a teenager. But, at home or down it's there, different. it's I mean, different. It really is you use different. the F word like you use man. That's a big fish, or that's a effing big fish. Or, <laughs> I mean, you use it as an fish, adjective. Bro. Hey, bro, that's yeah. a big effing fish, bro. You know, where the F you going, huh? You know, I mean, it's just, it's a form of expression. It doesn't mean, I mean, when you use it as anything oh, yeah. bad. You well, know, so I have just to watch myself. Too, no. Like, I'm trying very hard right now yeah, not it's to a, use the word. Yeah, it's an I, expressive, <laughs> it's more of an expressive way of talking. It's it's yeah. just it's just funny because of, you know, the difference yeah. in how JR and I grew up as opposed to, you know, our wives. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's just, I didn't it's hear, I didn't hear my mom cuss too. I mean, she did, but not too, too bad. Like, unless she was mad or something, she didn't just cuss in front of us, like in normal language. My grandmother, same. Uh, my other, my grandma, my dad's mom never heard her cuss hardly ever until I was an adult um, or my granddad on that side. But my dad, Big Jim, oh, good Lord. The stuff I heard as a small child from him, I've still never heard stuff as bad as I've heard him say in front of <laughs> kids. And, I mean, just in front of random people. And he's terrible. Just scared to go in public with him. And my granddad, same way. He was like you. He couldn't hardly hear good. So he, when he said it, it was loud. <laughs> and it would just say whatever. First thing popped in his mind, which we've talked about Paul saying. Same thing that just whatever first yeah. thing pops in her mind, just say as loud as they can. So, I, and my grandmother used to tell us not to cuss because she tell granddad it uh, it shows a low level vocabulary. But then when I got older, I realized all of them did it. They just kept it from us, and right. uh, yeah. you know it was. Uh, but I had heard they just didn't keep from. it from them. No. Well, but, but, didn't I didn't but you didn't from. do it as a kid. Like no, you knew, but, like you heard your parents do yeah. it, but you knew not to do exactly. it. Like you didn't I, say it. But I thought it sounded you cool, know. unfortunately, because of rap records and uh, comedy movies and stuff. Because it was all you know, usually had bad language in, back then and stuff. Um, but not really the girls as much until Louisiana. I can remember the first time I went down there and was like. I was like 21, 22 with Wayne and them. It was some moms. It was like some of the older guys' wives and stuff. And we're just hanging out, and I'm just like, good Lord, these girls will say anything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then, and then uh, you know, some years later, I said, i got to get me one of them. So she's in the house doing yeah. something right now. Yeah. And I probably, tried cur to cur watch probably cursing it. as we speak. It's not like when you're <laughs> – yeah, well, it's not like you say it when you're mad either. Like I say it like I can be – it's the happiest day ever, and I – Yeah. Say it all the time. I mean, yeah. you know, so it's not like if we're arguing, which I say, I really say it then, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's almost it's like just... every single word. But it's just a form of expression for us, mm -hmm. I think, too, you mm -hmm. know. but And, and it's but, funny. It gets, it gets a row, keeps you in a loose mood, you know. It's just mm -hmm. funny. Yeah, I think, you know? yeah. But I knew growing so. up, though, going back to that, like my dad was awful. But then also, like, Eason's parents, who were like my second parents, I stayed with him as much as I did you know, at home most of my, when I was little, they didn't ever cuss and you wasn't cussing at their house. And, you know, but and, the, and Jeff would shake his head with the ball games with dad would cuss and stuff, but it was just different. Some, some were rough and some weren't as rough, yeah. you know, it, it depending, but uh, until you get grown and then you realize all our parents were crazy too, you know? Uh, so anyway, oh, it's what, like when you find out even, I'm not talking about anybody specifically, but when you find out like, Oh, they, Oh, wait a minute. They do that. Yeah. Oh, they oh, oh they do oh they do that like oh, oh yeah. they do that like whoa yeah. you're like oh they oh, I won't go work. I won't go into specifics but yeah. you can kind of read between the oh lines. yeah all kinds of stuff you're like yeah. really really <laughs> well even even reading even getting into um we talked about it about the books I've read and getting into you know history of country music you you think this or that and I mean I'll tell I'll tell you know. You think this about them until you really find out. And you read their autobiography, you're like, whoa, they were, they did all that. I thought they were this, you know. But uh, you just right. never know, you know. But it and uh, I, to Kate's thing, yeah, that's how. That's just how people talk. And then like Teresa's mom, I never hear her. 
but you know, but most everybody else, I mean, it just depends, oh, you know. Okay. So. Oh, you hear my mama. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee, get on a tear. So, but it was funny. Oh, uh, yeah. But but that it was that going back to that though. Yeah, it's funny how much Ken is like Just and uh, Ella is like you. And then I got I finally got to see a picture with Klein in her new glasses. How cute! Aww, yeah, is she I doing know. okay with them? She is. I constantly I, I I was on her in the beginning. I was like, you can't take these off. You have to wear them because I didn't want her to take them off and then just get busy and sidetrack because she really she's has to keep them. She's good about them. taking care of them. But man. she's she been really, really, really good. So I've like, been really proud of her and stuff. Yeah, you know? I, I noticed, uh, I think it was last week I was home uh, before she went to bed. And instead of, like, Ella would just toss them on the, over on the couch or on the floor from the couch or whatever. Um, but she went over to where we where she keeps her little case and put them in the case and the, I mean she she yeah, really has done was, good. I I pretty I'm terrible with like sunglasses for example. And and so in your wallet and your keys. Yeah, and, and so yeah. I I was I was like, "Oh, look at her. That's that's awesome." Yeah, she's oh. done good, and she looks so cute in them. Yeah, she does. I <laughs> know. Uh, well, that's good. Yeah, she don't want to get them scratched up and stuff because then she won't want to wear them. And because if she wears them, it could help her down the road correct some of her stuff, right? Yeah, and we we have to go back and she said two months to see if it's working or if it's getting better, and then um, if it's not doing anything, we're gonna have to do a few other things. But so it's not like she just needs it. Like I wear. I've worn glasses since I was in third grade, but I'm nearsighted, so I have to wear my glasses. And it's not something that's just going to be better. Where hers can be better, but she has to wear them right. all the time right now. So Yeah, she's got, yeah. what, an astigmatism? Which I have astigmatism, too, but she basically has a lazy eye. So one's Aww. like really, really, really bad, but you can't tell. I when never you look noticed. At her. No, I didn't. She's notice so cute. Either. I mean, good grace. Well, we she felt can't we get felt because she's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we felt bad because you know, she was having trouble. With, was it letters? Yeah, reading. Uh, and, know, we, she's and we were like, behind. but and her teacher actually pointed it out to us. Hey, y'all may want to get her eyes checked. And of course, his parents were like, "Oh my gosh, I feel terrible. Like we didn't." have a clue how did we not pick up on that but oh yeah you know i don't i'm not familiar with you know poor eyesight or you know, yeah. i can't hear but i can see but my eyes are about the only thing on me that works right for for now yeah <laughs> at least but um i never had them until so, i yeah, got well, checked was, recently myself and my brother though my brother same way my brother had to have glass and contacts his whole life and my mom always glasses and contacts as long as I can remember. Yes, yeah, they so both got some surgeries at all. Really? Yeah, so have we feel we can you get the surgery thing, Kate? Yeah, and I've always talked about doing it, but it seems like everybody every time we had talked about doing it, I was pregnant or I got pregnant or something. Gotcha. So gotcha. Uh, we just didn't. But I'd love to do it because I can, I I'm blind as a bat. I, I, yeah, you, I can't speaking see of anything. you getting pregnant, you want me to admit something right now? Y'all are not pregnant this again. Is a, For the love this of God, we've got to retire one no, day. No, 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 no. No. But I was watching uh, yesterday. And I had a, a, a. You wouldn't mind having another baby. With I you. had a couple of Zoom calls yesterday. One, uh, one of which was what? with the, um, with Aaron Murray, uh, former Georgia quarterback, uh, yeah. and his partner Chris Childers on their SEC radio show on Sirius XM, and we're talking, you know, previewing the Georgia Arkansas game and. In between, I had like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, and that's when South was up here, and he's like playing with the microphones and the whole thing I was we were talking about earlier, and I sent you a, a picture. Yeah. Um, but So I was watching, because we just played a show with Granger Smith, and, and he and his wife just had um, a little boy. And they have a, a YouTube channel and show called The Smiths. Go check that out if you if you haven't. It's, it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah. But anyway... I'm no, I'm not gonna just hurry up. This is the way a podcast well, works. You just oh you god. talk. Oh my god! Uh, okay, it's like and, that's the and, way you work. <laughs> and so, yeah. the, the their little kids, uh, uh, you know, older sister and older brother holding a baby, and I'm like, 
I can't believe this, but I'm almost have baby fever. <laughs> like I'm like I'm like I can't even believe this what? because I've been like no 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 no. Even when we had him, he was like no 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 <laughs> no. When we had the last one. Well, yeah. so we're. So, so I'm like, one, I'm like, the first one. I'm just sitting there watching. I'm like, oh, you know, I like I can almost see. Day, I'm like, I can't believe this because this is total opposite of what I've thought for yeah. years now. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Were, were, were you were you should have checked it, yourself. Were, were you hot eating sweets and ready to do some some no. phoners? I mean, because I mean, everything's to is opposite day Matt or what? To reverse things. Well, it, it also too. It was like, you know, South old enough now like i can see him you know not needing me here shortly again you know what i mean like i'm Mom, like still gonna need me you know what i'm saying though like mm -hmm. he's he's old enough always. like mama's boy he's always. running mm -hmm. he's running around my office and the pool house and doing this and that and i'm not real over the top worried about him you know i'm like yeah i'm right here you can go run around do whatever and i'm like I can't believe it's over like this. It, it, I don't I, know. It was weird. It was say, weird. I mean, for after me. South, I wow. was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. You know, and as when he got out of diapers and when he was, he's per, like, he can do stuff on his own. And I was like, okay, this is good. But I will say, and I don't, it's weird that you say that. Cause I haven't told you this either, but, uh, no, we haven't discussed this. No, I mean, ever. But, and I know that's gotta be really shocking for me. Yeah. Which, I mean, yeah. I love babies, obviously. You know, and having the kids store, the baby section, like, I see pregnant people all the time, or they come in with their little bitty, like, fresh, day-old, week-old babies, so I get to see them. And Aww. I've always been fine, but it seems like the last few weeks, I'm like, oh, like, I miss being pregnant, which I was so sick, and I was miserable pregnant, but there's something you miss about it, I guess. Wow. And then when they're so little, and they just cuddle and just eat and poop and that's it and you know they're just they don't bother you or they're not mean to you or talk back to you and all that stuff I mean, don't get me wrong it was it was a weird you know so i was like oh but you know it was so a what you to go get a couple more, more couple more cats couple more puppies i guess i'm gonna need to because it was a weird emotion we i'm not gonna have lie. another baby can we not unless we have a reversal of some things. Yeah. I think we're good. Um, Let's go. Y'all want to talk about music or something else? Let's get off this. Y'all yeah. so, look, look at each other a, too long. Y'all will get pregnant. It was a weird <laughs> feeling weird to have, to, quite, to be honest with you, because I was like, why am I thinking like this? Like, this is strange. Like, because I was vehemently against even having a fourth child. Oh, I mean, very. Years. Ooh, we, yeah. we, we, we had that conversation for years. Even Probably when, two I years. mean, even when I was in the hospital, you were like, I, I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe. I'm like, God, back to the bottles, back to the He was going to be so to mean to South. He used to be like, he, he used to be <laughs> South like he is fancy. He's like, I'm not, he ain't, that's Kate's boy. I ain't going uh, to, like Joey, uh, he's growing on me. And now it's his best friend. Oh, oh yeah. He's, yeah. He's amazing. so cool. He's so oh, sweet. Which too. I know you do love the girls, so nothing to take away from them. But you're always like, I'm fine with just having girls. I'm a great girl dad. I love my girls. Yeah. I'm good. But now you're like, dang, now I got me a little buddy. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, man. Like, And when we came home, I guess it was this past Sunday, um, he was at my mom and dad's house. Kate walked over and got him. And y'all were like a hundred yards away, and I went outside, and he like runs up and hugs me, and he was attached to me the whole day. Yeah, he we, was excited. We, he was like, "Dad, Daddy, can we do this?" So, as you know, Jr., we went and visited uh, a plant in Bismarck, North Dakota, a bobcat plant. Yes, it was awesome. And they built they built track hose there, and. Um, Two or three, four other pieces of equipment among of like all these attachments and yeah. stuff. Yeah, very and, cool. Shout out Bobcat, one of our main yeah. sponsors. That was awesome. Thank y'all for taking us on that nice dinner that night. But that was an amazing plant they have there. It really was made in America. Three hundred and fifty, three hundred and fifty thousand square feet, which is amazing. And that's not even close to their biggest one. I think they've got another one that's like seven hundred thousand square yeah. feet or something crazy. But, um. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, and they had gifted me uh, a little miniature 
uh, Traco. And so I, I gave that to South because he's obsessed with that kind of stuff. And he's like, Dad, can we take my Traco out here and, and dig? He goes, what's this do again? I'm like, well, I mean, you know, you can dig. It spins around. You can. It's got a uh, a blade on it. You can you move dirt. And he goes, water too? I'm like, yeah, sure, water too. And so we come out, and he gets in the pool, and he's scooping out water. And then he's like, can we go over there, uh, you know, the other side of the house and dig? I'm like, yeah, let's go. But all day he was like, daddy, daddy, can we, daddy. That I mean, he didn't. No, he was. He cute. was. He was kind of attached at the <laughs> hip, which, uh, to your point, I guess, uh, it is is a lot of fun. Uh, it's pretty yeah. pretty neat because the girls were, man. the girls are not girly girls really. I mean, they're they're more tomboyish. They them. like both. Like they love to go play outside and get dirty and play sports. Yeah, my point is they're not they're not they worried to, about going out and getting dirty. Is, no, is what I'm saying. Which I'm like that. I mean, but they weren't obsessed you know. with like digging in the dirt and do it no, you know like they, there's him, been a, a you know. big difference in the girls and then him as a, a boy and mm, stuff you know yeah. it you know but it, he's so sweet i know so hey well, well kate i know we, i know y'all got to go do stuff so we'll talk a little bit longer i got a few things i wanted to touch on um mm-hmm. one before we go i want to get back to music and the new single that just uh you can pre-order now uh coming off justin's new album um, but before that, I want to talk about the store because you mentioned the store. Uh, what's been going on at the store? Tell everybody what anything new we got at the store and to make sure everybody knows how they can um, link up to the store and order because I know your online business since pandemic is yeah blown up. Yeah, we've been which we've been really busy lately and trying to get ready for the holidays and we do a couple holiday shows and like for our kids store we'll have santa claus come and do pictures with santa and um all that stuff so we've been trying to get everything ready for that and get stocked up and you need to get to work on them fingernails see good well i gotta leave the house to do that see he wants all these things but when i try to get them done then he bitches about it you know yeah yeah. Anyway, he just wants you close enough where he can twirl your hair. Yeah, I'm a security <laughs> be, blanket. Be, I'm fighting the urge off right now so that people <laughs> don't think I'm a weirdo. Like they this already whole know you're weird. So oh yeah. Just go ahead. Oh yeah. It's this season um, three. They know us by now. But uh, yeah. tell everybody the name of the store, Kate. Where where the store is located and the online um, how they can order. So um, it's in Benton, Arkansas, which is uh, kind of it's close to where we live right now. Suburb of Little Rock. Yeah. Um, yeah, between your house and Little Rock, basically. But the kid's store is called Shop. It's – oh, I thought he fell out of his chair. He's just trying to get his little girl. Look at this him. Is He's Justin's got a cat. He's hot. Yeah. He hates cats, but he loves this one. Yep. Well, This is his little ju- girl, Binks. I think we've talked about it on here. I don't know if we have or not. But, like, this is uh, Binksy. Uh, she's <laughs> she's never going to after- see this. I know. She's a really good alarm clock at about 5.30, licking <laughs> your toes morning. so that every you get awake morning. every single morning. She'll get in your face going, meow. I didn't mean to interrupt. Meow. She was just right here, so I was just uh, going to grab her. The kid the store is This Little Piggy. Um, right and right online, it's shopthislittlepiggy.com. And it's all infant baby stuff, newborn through 14, 16-year-old boys and girls clothes. And... uh. During the holidays, we pick up more toys and little gifty things, you know, for the holidays. Uh, but we also have a women's store, uh, Soco, which is South and Coco. Um, and our women, our online women's store right now is turned off because we're trying to fix it, the website. But we have Instagram and Facebook, and we always post stuff. And a lot of people will just respond to the post, and you can shop off of there or call us and you know stuff like that yeah i've seen i I get to see um the girls yours and ross and amy's and and, uh, friends and people uh all Mm -hmm. queued it up with their stuff on what's the instagram handles for the um kids store and the women's store the for this little piggy it's shop this little piggy ar is the kids store and south and coco is the women's store on instagram 
Amp yeah, check those. y'all. Oh, make oh, sure everybody go. There goes a handle. I got you. Yeah, everybody go check yeah. those out because you'll get to see a bunch of cool pictures. And like I said, you can um, order and find all the links through yeah. there. And go to um, the just. And if you hadn't already, everybody on Instagram, uh, get on there and go to the Justin Moore Podcast Instagram page because um, that's what we're using to up, update uh, things happening here in our podcast world. Um, so you can stay up to date with all that. Check that out. And yeah. Kate's going to drop those on us again here before yeah. the episode ends. And like ends. the women, uh, the women's store, besides having clothes and stuff, we'll have like home items. Like I just, before I came Shoes, on here, I was in my office boots, doing that kind of stuff. We carry like barefoot dreams. So I was entering all that stuff, like all those blankets and women's pajamas and robes. My and blankie slippers. that I always Justin's use on the bus. on the bus. Yeah. Yep. You know, his know camo that. one. Oh, yeah. uh, so we carry all that stuff and um, so home and gift too especially around the holidays and uh, women's and, clothing the, and some men's stuff and the other thing I mean I, obviously I realize that not everybody listening is local and you can't get to the actual brick and mortar store but um, around the holidays in, I mean obviously we ship yeah, we, it, ship. we ship anywhere so anybody listening please go check it out Um and, and yeah, like uh, I said, you can shop online or even on Instagram when we post stuff. You know, you can shop from the pictures and. But here's the here's the thing that I know a lot of my friends love is and and you you guys out there specifically, um, would I'm sure love um is they'll call Kate or you can call and talk to anybody who's working there and say say it's valentine's day or christmas or anniversary or birthday or whatever it is and say i just want to spend 200 bucks or whatever the amount you want to spend and and the girls that work there or kate or amy or whomever will just put a gift package together uh you know my wife's yeah. you just say my wife's into this and this and this and this or whatever i mean it's jr i know you've done that with like your nephew yeah and, and just, oh, yeah. whether it be baby stuff or whether it be like, you know a, a gift for your get. wife and you're like i don't want to i don't know i yeah. for me i don't know what to get um yeah that's what i, I, I have did. no I idea but i know yeah, I, I just, and i know like her or somebody else working there knows way better than me if, if i go you know uh, so anyway, I would encourage any guys out there. Yeah, who, we I do that for a lot of you know, like our, uh, uh, yeah, our like friends. our couples friends. The uh, guys they'll text me. They're like, "Hey, Mother's Day's tomorrow. Um, I need a gift." And I'm like, "Just yeah. tell me how much you want to spend. I'll put some together. Sometimes wrap it, I send ship them it to you. Boom, and, done. Which don't I like have to, to wrap presents. It. So I gift wrapped it all up. And so sometimes and you're I'll like, just, "Wait a minute, that voice sounds familiar. Justin, is that you?" <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, but, uh, and then I'll just email them an invoice, and they can pay the invoice from their yeah. email, so they don't have to come in. They don't have to give me their credit card over the phone. So that would be perfect for, yeah. for people listening to the this yeah. podcast. Like, if guys out there, if you're like myself or my friends yeah. or Jr., just call. You know, you can yep. Google. I don't, you probably but, don't know the number, but you can Google the number and call. Yeah, there's links and be like, on hey, the Instagram page, I know, to, to y'all's you know, website. Yeah. Stuff, he, he, and we'll, and all that. we'll send pictures. Some I want to spend 40 bucks or 200 bucks see stuff, or whatever. So I'll send them I mean, pictures or mm -hmm. um and sometimes, and we'll deliver, if it's local, we'll have one of our girls go deliver the package or gift to them, you know, so they don't have to get out and stuff yeah. like that. But whatever we can do to make it easy, yeah. we do. Well, you we sure mind. did for me when my nephew was born. Um, I remember saying, you know, I really don't know. I mean, I, I'm pretty good at gifts and stuff, though, but I knew – Y'all had it dialed in, so I basically said, "Yeah, let's, I just want to do a big package because y'all just y'all had given one to I think um, I think it might have been Joey or oh, okay, that's intern in Alicia, yeah. but right yeah. before that, and I said, "Man, just whatever y'all got them was perfect because it was just an assortment and it was the this and that things I wouldn't have thought yeah. about." And um, I can remember uh, my brother's wife saying afterwards, she was like, "Man, this is some high quality stuff." I mean, this is she was just she overly complimentary about me getting the gift and how how good the stuff was, but yeah, I just said, "Hey." Just get me a package together, you know. It's my nephew, you know. Let's do the works, and it was the works, yeah. and it was awesome. So, um, well, especially we'll sure with, yeah, I'm sorry, but especially no, with baby stuff because, like, I know when we had our first, you know, you get all this stuff that 
uh, and you know you get 10 or 12 things and you might use one or two of them and yeah so we kind of learn like all right you got to have this you got to have this this is a waste of money don't get that right. you know right. and so um and and kate and our business partner and and friend um you know obviously has children also so we kind of waded through those waters for you <laughs> right so you you know if you're a first time parent in particular it would be uh you know something that you certainly would would want to take advantage of you know yeah it's kind of like you did the legwork yeah it makes sense it's kind of like right. we always said with with dally when it comes to uh the the health and wellness thing it's like it's what he always says like i did all the i, I did, all did the trials it. trial yeah. and error for you here's here's what you need to do yeah. so uh speaking of trial and error and things working out for the better you guys won 14 years of marriage as this as this airs you'll be 14 uh, years in in a day um but uh kate picking songs and helping Justin's career over all these years uh, since he's oh, yeah, been in the music business. And that. we've talked about it on here before that oh, you, you actually signed your record contract at your wedding. So I guess it's the anniversary of you signing your record deal as well. Oh, yeah. And uh, we got yep. since the new single with the woman you love and you're sitting next to the woman you love because forever just ain't enough with the woman you love. Um, tell us about the new song, Kate. What do you think about it? Do you Did you know about it? Did you have any thing in picking this song like before because i know justin said it at radio interviews and things over the years that several songs over the years you thought were awesome and he was kind of eh, and then they end up going number one you're like well never mind i'll just listen yeah. to you from now on so yeah, yeah you, you uh, should listen to me yeah yeah um, in general yeah, right? a few a few of yeah. those examples would be, just for people out there listening would be i think till my last day was one of those yeah um, i'm trying to think what else um i mean pretty so, much all of them somebody i was else. gonna say i know i've heard I him think. specifically say over the years when the new song would come out that yeah kate heard it and she was like this and i thought this well, we put this out now it's number one so i should listen to her yeah. another I, another one that i didn't record that she was like you ought to record that song and i'm like eh oh was uh, um a big hit for lee bryce i love that song um, too it's called drinking class it was big oh, yeah. top 10 record yeah, for him a few years ago i demoed it i recorded I like, it i listened to it for months i was like man like, i love this song i was like put it out he's like no and so i didn't even end up you know putting it on an album and right away lee did and it was a big huge hit yeah so. I was like, anyway just to kind of provide anyway. a little bit of a, no, uh, it is a good song. I've, uh, he's had it for a while a little bit so i've listened to it and i when they said that was going to be the new single because I had no say so in it, in oh. this one, um, I, I didn't really to either. Again, to be honest, it is with you. good. It is I good. mean, honestly, I really didn't either. I was, I was playing a group of, uh, I don't know, five, six songs for for our uh, VP at my record label, and you were there on the bus, Jr. I mean, he kept going, play that other one again, play that song again, play that song again. I'm like. This this a love song, but, yeah. I he's mean, like, it's not he, like and he's a like, slow, he's like, that is a monster, song, you know? monster hit. And I'm like, this song here, like I was, I was like, oh, so it's it's funny because sometimes you just don't necessarily hear it, but but everybody around you does, or yeah. vice versa, you know. Yep. And so that's why you got to have for a me, good team. Yeah, I thought this was a good song, yeah. but I, it never. It was never anything I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, it is good. I did tell I him, though, it. before so. he put it out, because there's another song I was listening to that I've been begging him to do, but he won't. But anyway, um, I was like, look, I was like, why don't you put out a love song? And I was like, I'll be in your video. It could just be me and you, like a real love video i was like we can go to mexico yeah, cody can gross shoot people in mexico out. kill two birds with one stone a yeah, little we, vacation we gro she gross will... everybody out by us like making love on screen we make well, everybody we don't have to puke. do that on screen but well that's what you're yeah. alluding to is what i'm saying well, i you gotta don't say... have a love video 
I, I think, though, I, wife, I love I the mean, new song, and I thought, I told the band guys, because I heard it before them, I said, it sounds just like it's a continuation of the last record. It's got that good country sound. It's an yeah. upbeat love song. It's clever lyrics. I love it. I think it's great. I've been singing it all week because I've listened to it a few times now, and I got the demo over to the band so they can learn it, because hopefully you guys are going to play it in Pikeville this weekend. And uh, yeah. I thought, yeah, it's just a great continuation of that Late Nights and Long Necks theme. And uh, speaking of that, Kate, I was some stuff I was going to ask you, and you mentioned videos. I was going to ask of your of all the songs Justin's put out. I know you, there's mm-hmm. a ton that we didn't put out because, like me, some of my favorite JM songs mm-hmm. were record, you know, album cuts that just didn't make it. But um, what was your favorite song that did go, that was a big hit? And video wise, what was your favorite video? I know you've been in some, but y'all have done some with with you know other things. Mm-hmm. Was it one where you were in, or was it the funny one where Justin's? Uh, you know, trying to be a cowboy, drinking the milk and that kind of stuff. That one was funny. Um, favorite. Not, that might be my hard. favorite one, actually. What, the one you did? Yeah, I, not that it was. I don't like shooting. It was probably fun. I, 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 nah, I don't. It, it's not fun for me to shoot videos because I, I, I just, wasn't there I to make it fun. Well, I don't think I look good on camera and I, I, I just. I don't know. Everybody goes, oh, yeah, you're great at acting. I'm like, eh, I mean, I don't know. You're probably just trying to be nice, but I don't know. It's just not super enjoyable for me. But that that video, the way it turned out, I thought it was pretty cool because it was kind of like a Western, which I'm a fan of. Yep. And yeah, I, I, I was on was a horse neat. all day. It was pretty neat. Was it till like my that last video. Was it till my last day that you were in, Kate? One we so we had two versions of that video. Yeah. Um, if you remember, um, we had one that was kind of like a, uh, almost like a home video. Yeah. It was like, at our our old that's house. Right. And, that's Kennedy right. Ella, little. Ella and Kennedy were in it, and they were like three and one or four and two or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and I think I was in parts of just like she was the in, girls Yeah, she was in, so like they were that. jumping on the trampoline and doing some different stuff. So that was one, she was in Small Town yeah. USA. Sitting which on was, that truck That's bed, the one I'm thinking yeah. of. You know. That's the one I'm thinking of because I wish I'd have been around then to help you with your wardrobe, Just, because that, um, you've, you've stepped it up since then, but I dressed like a turd yeah. back then too, I'm sure. That's pre-handle yeah. chops and all was, that. I'm sure pretty, I look ridiculous. It's pretty embarrassing But Kate was pretty in the video, that. so... I think I think if we uh, yeah, because y'all are on the back of the truck on the dirt road, yeah, y'all should do something like mm-hmm. that. Just y'all ain't got to get she, all yeah. blah blah blah. Y'all could even do I something know. just romantic. She yeah, she was in why we you were in why we drink. I, I was in also. why we drink. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, of course, oh, which of course. Jr. Yeah. starred in. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was fun. You've been in three or four of them. Yeah, yeah. but I was saying, just me and you in the video, you know, that kind of thing. How about just like you? the new promo, like the. No. Well, like the promo in the song, or, for, or the promo for the song that's out now is you guys riding horse down your driveway. Yeah. Um, that's cute. Y'all could just do that. Y'all could finish, get off the yeah. horse. Y'all could go to the cabin. Y'all yeah. could sit on the I pier, think you need fish, to do a make destination out. Destination shoot. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Just destination the pond. shoot. I thought, well, I don't know about you destination. I think shoot. the pond. I think we already paid for the pond. We should just use it. That or, uh, you know, the word Destin is in destination. Oh, yeah. So we could True. do Destin, that. Destin, Key West, Cabo. That'd be closer for you, JR. Be you know, great. Bahamas. Be great. So there you uh, go. You know, I'll make a cameo. Work. We're going to blow this thing up, number one. You know how we she roll. Wants to, she wants to go out of the country. See, this it, gets no, back. No, we can gets, stay no, in no, the no, U.S. No, 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 no. This gets back to the safe, yeah. safe deal. Like, Key West, I don't want to leave totally the country. Safe. Totally safe. Yeah, Key West. Let's we, do the Key West. The Keys. JR's on not, my side on this. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah, but I want, yeah, y'all need to go somewhere safe. We I'd could like do to a be whole part of the cabin, approval process Wyoming on this. Thing. You <laughs> know, be Wyoming, Wyoming. The Keys will be fine. Yeah. Y'all fly to y'all just fly to Atlanta, then to Key West and back. Don't yeah. drive. And then um yeah, that'd be that'd be a good one. But I, I like it. I think Cody's listening because yeah, he'll be it. editing this to put it out. I think uh Cody? I think that's, we should get the uh wheels turning there on the yeah. video for this and i think um i think we definitely need to have uh a, a something with both you guys in it because it is about a woman you love and obviously that's the woman you've loved for a long long time video coming mm-hmm. out right around your anniversary coincidence maybe maybe not so i think everything happens for a reason and uh i think it'd be great and um i think it's gonna be a big song like i said i love it and if kate approves i mean i think i think we're in yeah yeah 
Yeah, I think it's going to be a big song. Hopefully, you guys dig it out there. It'll be available. It's pre-order now. You can pre-order yeah, it right now. Yeah, you can now. pre-order it now. Um, so, yeah, please go check that out. Um, again, that'll be from an album that'll be uh, coming out, I would assume, early next year. Don't know what it's called. Don't even know all the songs that are going to go on it, but I'm, I know the nucleus of the album, and I'm really proud of it and think it's really good. So maybe the best uh, of the last, Two or three, in my opinion. Um, Maybe you should call the album uh, Later Nights and Redder Necks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, I, but, Kate, I got to say again, thank you for jumping on. Love for you to come back uh, next week and maybe just drop a little something. Let us know about the you Arkansas. Want me to come back and talk football, you know. Yeah, I can. I'll, I'll yeah, give you a heads doing. up. Oh. I'll give you a heads up sooner than Justin Justin does, uh, because Thank you. you you definitely have been our most requested guest and most yeah, popular I don't guest. I think you knew that. No, and I'm telling you that not just because you're my buddy. I'm serious. More people want you on here and have enjoyed your than Matthew McConaughey, than friggin' what McConaughey, or huh. I mean NASCAR drivers or ESPN people or country stars. I mean it's I mean. They all just try to keep it real, you know. Let them know. know the truth about old JM here. Hey, and while we're dropping truth bombs here, Kate, you firsthand experienced the evolution of this podcast. How has this thing rose from the dirt? As you a passed raw out. Seed? You're passed <laughs> out. This, I mean, we planted this little seed under your we, desk. We, we randomly watered it, and somehow this little weed grew and, and is now into a small sapling of a tree. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do. I listen to it when it comes out every week, and it is good. I mean, I haven't found him passed out under his desk uh, again. I haven't made that mistake again. No. Though that first um, season was a little I can little understand rough. him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Because when I would listen, I was like, oh, geez, this is going to go south <laughs> quick. Because I can tell. Like, I know him and his mannerisms and oh, everything. Yeah. And I was like, oh, oh geez, yeah. I hope they get him off soon. Uh, yeah. But no, well, the original definitely <laughs> stepping it up. The original plan was Justin was going to be Johnny Carson. I was going to be Ed McMahon. And quickly that pivoted in. If I don't get him sped up, this is going to be a, a one-story <laughs> JM 45-minute podcast. <laughs> hey, yeah. Kate, you remember that time we, Here's we were going? Here's the <laughs> yeah. deal. Here's the deal. And then just get it, have get a dip in, have another drink. Well, you know, you know, uh, <laughs> um, it's kind of like uh, you remember when y'all just talking uh, about me like I ain't here. Uh, uh, hey, yeah. I love that it's time. It's like playing Kate. a game with them. Kate, okay, what about that time we were driving back from uh, from Little Rock? It was me, you, Justin, and Sharice, and there was like a wreck on the side of the road or something. And we were like, man, we ought to call the <laughs> state troopers or somebody let them know there's somebody that might need some help. And Justin calls him on the speakerphone of the truck. He's like, hey, um, uh, I just was going to let y'all uh, know, you know, over here on yeah. the 40 by exit, um, oh, what, what was know, that exit, you know, it's kind of like by, uh, <laughs> and we're like, they're, we they're, they're going to be burning. What's that thing? Hey, don't uh, let hey don't um, you know that big red building um it's, it's kind of like, yeah y'all don't i'm terrible at telling a story y'all don't let me be the one trying to call 911 to save your life it just ain't it just i talk too slow yeah. my thoughts are formed oh, way too slow oh man um, yeah but, but y'all have hey, the, come a long way. I will yeah, say. Yeah, I was going to say, I, because I, I used good. to, couldn't, I didn't, I would jumble and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like I could at least get most of the things I want to say out. And, uh, and yeah, we've had, a, it's been fun. I mean, this is the, and I asked Justin the other week, I was like, man, you, you ever think we should, just for fun, have a few drinks and go back and listen or watch <laughs> some of those early episodes. No. And it's like, nah, I think we're good. We're on a good streak. Well, you know, we don't need to revert back to bad habits. But it was just fun. Hell, we didn't know what we were doing. It was awesome. We didn't know what we were doing. And the other thing, man, that was just such a weird, stressful time for everybody. Oh my God. Everybody was just yeah. trying to make it through today. You yeah. know what I mean? Just, You're just trying to, to let's Absolutely. just get through today. Well, and Absolutely. I think too, and, like so. for Justin and I don't I mean, most people probably don't know this that are listening, but he's not a let's plan everything out type of person. And he's kind of like, okay, just fly by the seat of your pants. And, you know, he has me for those things, you know. So I plan everything out anytime we do anything in advance, have everything ready. And I'll say, come on, let's go. And at home, yeah. We just do it, you know, at home. And then on the road, he has you and Joey to do this those things so i think when y'all started to have a podcast where there's other people involved that 
you had to plan things out because things had to be edited at a certain time and this and this. That was not easy for him. You no, know, it's, it's, it's just certainly that's not just my, not his personality no, too. So having to be like, you have to be here at nine o'clock and do your podcast, and then you're going to do this. I think that was kind of an adjustment. Yeah, you yeah. know, well, and yeah. working kind of from an office during the day. I mean, that's I had literally never, never been in my office. Yeah, ever. Yeah. No, that's why I didn't worry about fixing it because I was like, I'll get to it later. I got other right. things to do. <laughs> it looks great now. Yeah, I actually didn't see it until I walked in just now. I mean, I had seen it. I hadn't seen everything up on the walls, but looks good. Yeah, it was. Uh, but it, and it and it is, and it's it was a whole adjustment for everybody. Like Justin said, the whole country, the whole world, really. You just had to do whatever you had to do to get through get through day to day. Yeah, I mean, and yeah. and it was a good escape, and it was uh, fun to catch up with friends that we didn't get to see during that time. And now everybody's back to work, and everybody's so busy. Um, it's uh, and, and now we've yeah. got this thing dialed in. We've got great guests and and um, a lot of a big bright future for this thing. I know we mentioned our sponsors earlier. We got we just re up with Bobcat. We're going to work with them again next year. Wrangler Jeans, uh, Bang Tail. Got all kinds of fun stuff. Actually, got a, I'm watching my other computer here. I've got emails popping up. I want to be like Joey, stop! I'm recording. But uh, <laughs> but we've got all kinds of cool things going on. So it's it's a good time to be alive, and uh, I'm I'm looking forward to this thing taking a turn and everything getting back to normal. And Kate, you can make your yeah. bubble a little larger, but not right now. Give it just a little longer. Uh, stay safe, and I'll, and we're gonna stay safe out on the road. Um, and uh, I'm gonna see you uh, by the time this airs. I'll see you the next day. You coming out to the show this weekend and going to the game, aren't you? Yeah, I think so. We were just talking about it a little bit before, so we have to make sure. Or I have to make sure all the kids are where they need to be. And I already talked to my mom. The, They're good. Yes. You text them and they said, yes, we'll watch them. But a lot more goes into it than, yes, we'll watch them. I mean, I, there's four of them and I have to get all their crap together and them and, you know. That'd be fine. So anyway. The, See, that's eyes. that's yeah. what they'll be fine. They'll, we'll just we'll worry about it later. And they that's know how to get in our house thing. if they need something. We'll, just come. We'll get figure in. it out later. No, I can't do. I can't figure it out later. We'll that, talk about gotta it have later. a plan. I can't stand when he says that. That's <laughs> <laughs> me crazy. That's the thing. I got that one. We'll, and we'll figure it out later. Agree to disagree. That's what he tells agree me. Agree to disagree. No, I'm not <laughs> agreeing to disagree with you. Like, no, let's just. <laughs> Argue it out right here. Yeah, and that's not. cool. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. man, that's lovely. Well, that's what keeps it sp the spice of life. That's what kept you all together all this time. Happy yeah. anniversary <laughs> and many more Foul. from everybody out in podcast land. Yeah, I'll come back on let next week and let y'all know what he got me for our anniversary. That's what I, I want to know. I thought we said we wasn't getting nothing for each other, didn't we? Yeah, I guess so. See, that's the other thing. We, we can get into that next time. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting on that one. That's two years ago. We, uh, we on can Mother's get it, Day. We can get into that one next time. Should, we'll agree to... I even found our friend Carrie. You know, they have chickens, the warrants and everything. Yeah, so we get eggs from them for... I don't do want it for just the eggs. No, you don't it's want them for the, the eggs at all because you don't even eat eggs. And you just no, want them for, like for the damn I the pet aspect of yeah, it. Yeah, because I can go and take you care. Just I feed get one of those, shit. you know, the little aprons with the little slots. You put all your eggs in. I want one of those. And they have these little, they're kind of like crop clogs, and they have like chickens on them, and I'll put them on to walk out to my little coop. Anything you know? that looks cute but is what she wants. She, it, sent that's me a, it. she sent us a picture. They had, I guess they were, were they roosters or chickens? They were. Or hen or whatever. You know what I mean. They were all black. No, nobody knows what you mean. That's a silly ass question. I didn't know if it was a rooster. They were murdered out hens, basically. Uh, they were all black, which oh, right wow. up her. Oh my god! It, it doesn't matter so what the awesome. eggs I was like, are like. I gotta have those. It, it just I matters what them. they look like. Get some solid white ones with those black ones. Oh, so cute! That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Oh, but I guess man. I'll never get that. I guess I could just keep thinking about that. You know. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, we'll find out next we'll week out what later. the what the grand prize anniversary present was or was not, and if we do own uh, murdered out hen chickens uh, next week here on the Justin Moore podcast. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Go to shop this little piggy ar uh, and check out Kate's or shop this little piggy dot com. Yes, this little shop piggy this little ar piggy on Instagram, ar, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. 
that kind of stuff. I'm Jr. The Handler on Instagram and Twitter. That's Justin Cole Moore on Instagram and Twitter. JustinMoreMusic.com. You can get links to everything we've talked about on this podcast. Tickets to shows, which that's these guys. You want to get some tickets there? Uh, come see us at a show soon, Pikeville, Kentucky, this Friday night. Uh, next week we've got. Oh, man, look at me letting slack in here. Next week, we've got the Boys and Girls Club event in Benton, Arkansas oh, on yeah. the 7th. If you hadn't already got tickets to that, please go check that out. Uh, that's for a great cause that Justin and Kate have been the, doing for yeah, all, years Yeah, all the proceeds now. go directly to uh, the Boys and Girls Club. So, um, yeah, absolutely. We've raised in seven years, I believe, or eight, seven or eight years. Uh, didn't get to it last year for obvious reasons with COVID, but um, we've raised over seven hundred thousand dollars. So we're trying to up it and make it bigger and better this year, and trying to get over the million dollar mark as far as uh, proceeds raised. So yeah, if you're around or you can make it, if you're not too far away, if you're in Memphis or you know Dallas or whatever, and want to come see a great show uh, that you know it was for a great cause please check check it out yeah that's in benton arkansas on october 7th boys and girls club event it's a full band show it's just a justin moore concert i know there's some few tickets left goes to a great cause everybody's asked when we're going to play in arkansas this may be the only one this year uh we may get one later this year it might be the go ahead yeah i was gonna say and i'll tease everybody with this we have a giant concert announcement um coming in the next either next week or the week after on the on this podcast yes. i mean Super it, excited. it's maybe the biggest be, yeah and, and that'll be the next time awesome we play in arkansas and that'll be show next year. that that we've yeah. uh we've ever played i don't know yeah. not the biggest as far as fan uh you know numbers but to us it's awesome it's oh, it's yeah. pretty huge. amazing yeah. so huge but, yeah, huge. so everybody uh, – uh, huge. So go ahead and check that out if you're in the Arkansas area. Anywhere Bigly. There, y'all, yeah, y'all come to Benton, Arkansas on October 7th to the Boys and Girls Club event. Love to have y'all. Great calls. Next night, October 8th, we're in Louisville, Kentucky. October 9th, we're in Palmyra, Missouri. Then me and you are heading out to California to do the annual Nate Deaton acoustic event uh, uh, up there That's in a, uh, San Martin. Yeah, it's another uh, benefit that we do. Yep. I, I know in – it usually benefits different things. In the past, it's benefited, um, um, you know, breast cancer uh, research. It's benefited the First T Foundation, which does a ton of different things. So, uh, not not even sure what it benefits this year, but that's another one that we do just just for uh, for a benefit. I mean, we, yeah. we don't uh, make money or anything off of it. We just we do it to help help folks out so yeah so those are two great benefits we're going to be a part of here coming up soon so y'all check that out but you can catch all that on justinmoremusic.com so from myself jr the handler the king and queen of central arkansas justin moore the illustrious kate moore thank y'all for tuning in the justin moore podcast this week remember to use the hashtag justin moore podcast on social media when you want to ask questions or give us comments jr the handler here we'll see you guys next week thank y'all for tuning in cheers everybody Hey guys, today's podcast is sponsored by Bobcat Company. Check them out at bobcat.com. For any of you first time listeners out there, at the end of each of our episodes, uh, I like to do a little reading out of a book I've had that I've got a lot of use out of over the years. Uh, the book is by Mr. Charlie Daniels, uh, and the book is called Let's All Make the Day Count The Everyday Wisdom of Charlie Daniels. Number 22 Sweat versus Luck. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer or ruler, yet it stores its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. Proverbs 6.6 6. Occasionally somebody will tell me how lucky I've been to have all this success at my chosen profession, to have pursued it for 60 years and to still be able to do it at my advanced age. Actually, if we can substitute the word blessed for the word lucky, I would have agreed with every word. God has indeed blessed me, but luck has nothing to do with it. While my contemporaries in high school were going to movies and all the other recreational activities teenagers indulge in, I was usually sitting at home trying to figure out a guitar riff or a fiddle lick. And after I started playing professionally, when folks went home to their families after work at night, I was 500 miles away from mine, making a living and trying to further my music career. While others had regularly had a regular paycheck, 
If I had one, I made it myself. I had no company with deep pockets to guarantee me that I have a job next week. The point I'm making is that what you see on the surface is only the manifestation of the hard work expended and the sacrifices made to get there. Never judge a book by its cover. Luck notwithstanding. The kind of luck you can depend on is the kind you make yourself, and it's found mainly among the industrious. Let's all make the day count. <laughs>